Hi, I'm Mark Steinbrick with OurChurch.com and on this video I want to talk about the question that I'm often asked, will I be able to maintain the website myself? And Let's talk about maintaining a website and doing it yourself versus having a, uh, a website developer or a company do it for you. First, uh, what are the pros and cons of maintaining a website yourself versus having a developer do it for you? Uh, maintaining the website yourself will take more of your time, but it will typically save you money. So that's the, uh, the advantage of maintaining it yourself. Um, advantage of updating the website yourself is that you can do it anytime that you want, uh, whereas if you have a developer maintain it for you, oftentimes that there's going to be some kind of a lead time. It might be a few days, it might be a few hours, uh, I've heard of sometimes it takes a week or more. Um, typically uh, it, it's going to be a lot quicker for you to be able to maintain the site yourself. Um, but ask yourself if either you or someone else at your organization uh, have the time and the desire to maintain the website um, internally. If you don't, or you don't, uh, you don't have that time, you don't have the desire to maintain the website yourself, um, most likely it won't be done then. So in those situations, it is uh, recommended that you consider having a website developer, a company, maintain the site for you, simply that you have new content put on there on a regular basis. So uh, we recommend that uh, you try to do it yourself if possible, but if you don't have the time or you don't have the desire to do it, then oftentimes it is better to have a company or organization do it for you. Uh, something else to take in consideration when it comes to maintaining the site is uh, are you using a desktop based platform or a web based platform and simply put a desktop based platform is software that is stored on your uh, computer and web based platform uh, is something that is not stored on your computer you simply need to have access to the web to be able to log into the back end of the website to be able to maintain it um, there are limitations to going with the best, uh, the desktop-based software. And simply put, it is uh, you have to have it on every single computer that is going to be used to maintain the website. So if you have uh, three or four people on your web team, that means that each of them has to have it on their computer uh, to do it. If it's uh, not available on a smartphone or a uh, tablet, that means they're not able to do it that way. If they have a desktop versus a notebook computer, they'd have to have it on both of those uh, units as well. So the preferred way or the recommended way uh, is to go with a web-based platform because that means that you can do it from anywhere in the world that you have internet access. You can use a computer, a smartphone, or a tablet to be able to do that. Uh, is training provided? So whether you maintain the site yourself or not, um, it, that's, a, that's a very big part of it. Are you going to know how to do that? So find out how uh, to update the website, how, what kind of training is provided. Is it going to be done by video tutorials? Are there phone um, trainings that are provided? Or are there reading tutorials that you have to, uh, to go online and, uh, and read to be able to gain the knowledge to maintain the website? How easy is it to maintain yourself? Um, some web platforms are uh, very easy to use, whereas others are more complicated. So uh, it's very important to research the platform uh, that the developer will be using uh, to make your site or that you will be using when you build your own site uh, and find out what other people are saying about it. Find out if they're saying that it's easy, if it's complicated. Uh, it's something that's very important to know before um, getting into, uh, into using a particular software platform. Uh, and is there support if I need help maintaining the website? Um, when you do get stuck or you do need help maintaining the, set, the, the website, how, uh, is there support that's provided and how, it, how is it provided? Is it provided by email? Is it provided by uh, filling an online form? Um, is there a phone number that you can call? But all those questions are uh, important to have answers to uh, before selecting a, uh, a, a choice of maintaining the site yourself or having a developer do it for you. So I hope that uh, this was informative and I hope that it gave you uh, a lot of good information as far as maintaining the website yourself or having a developer uh, maintain it for you. If you have any questions or would like to talk to someone at OurChurch.com, please email us at support at OurChurch.com and we'd be more than happy to speak with you.